we want to simplify the following expressions completely. First expression is the fraction five over p raised to the fourth power. Looking at the notes below, if we have the fraction a over b raised to the power of n, this is equal to a raised to the power of n over b raised to the power of n. So this property is telling us when we have a fraction raised to a power, we must apply that power to both the numerator and denominator. So looking back at our expression, because we have the fraction five over p raised to the fourth power, we need to raise both the numerator and denominator to the fourth power, which means this is equal to five to the fourth over p to the fourth. But we can evaluate five to the fourth because the base is five. Five to the fourth is equal to four factors of five, which equals five times five times five times five, which equals 625. So the given expression simplifies to 625 over p to the fourth, or 625 divided by p to the fourth. But I also want to show how we can simplify fractions raised to powers by using the power property of exponents shown here. Where for review, a raised to the power of m raised to the power of n equals a raised to the power of m times n. So if we have powers raised to powers, we multiply the exponents. So looking back at this first expression, the fraction five over p is really five to the first over p to the first. In this form, we have powers raised to powers, and therefore we multiply the exponents. So this would give us five raised to the power of one times four, which is five to the fourth. The denominator would be p raised to the power of one times four, which is p to the fourth. So using the power property of exponents is helpful when we're raising more complicated fractions to powers. Looking at the next expression, we have the fraction two x over three squared or two x over three raised to the second power. And therefore we need to square both the numerator and denominator. And if it's helpful, we can think of two x as two to the first times x to the first and three as three to the first. In this form, we have powers raised to powers and therefore we multiply the exponents. So this expression is equal to two raised to the power of one times two, which is two times x raised to the power of one times two, which is two, all over three raised to the power of one times two, which is also two. And now we can evaluate two squared and three squared. Two squared is equal to two times two, which equals four. So this simplifies to four x squared all over three squared. Three squared equals three times three, which equals nine. In our last example, we have this fraction raised to the third power, where we can think of the numerator as two to the first, m to the first, n cubed, and the denominator as three to the first, r squared. So because we have powers raised to powers, we multiply the exponents. So this would be equal to two raised to the power of one times three, which is three, times m raised to the power of one times three, which is three, times n raised to the power of three times three, which is nine, all over three raised to the power of one times three, which is three, times r raised to the power of two times three, which is six, and now we can evaluate two to the third and three to the third. Two to the third is equal to two times two times two, which equals eight. And therefore the numerator is eight m to the third n to the ninth. The denominator is three cubed times r to the sixth. Three cubed is equal to three times three times three, which equals 27. The denominator is 27 r to the sixth. I hope you found this helpful.